What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your dude, Refrigitube, and today, today, I finally found what I was looking for. So, normally I'd like to do uh, the release stuff on the following weekend, so Darkness and Blaze should have been yesterday, but I was hunting for something. Because you know me, I also like to have majority of the new stuff, so blister packs, three packs, um, the sleeve packs. I didn't get the sleeve packs this time because I got something better. Uh, you get the three pack blister packs, the elite trainer box, and the sleeve packs usually. But instead of the sleeve packs, we have these two packs, which comes with Darkness of Blaze and Sword and Shield base set for the price of the Darkness of Blaze. And I got five of them. So we're going to get some extra Sword and Shield in there. So maybe we'll get the Zassian and Zamazenta. Then, if you guys didn't know, you have this three pack blister pack. Which has a Flareon promo card. Very nice. Unfortunately, I had to go to seven different stores. Went to three Targets. Yeah, three Targets. And I went to four different Walmarts. I would have went to more. But on the fourth Walmart, I found it. And they only had two of them. Which is crazy. But because I had to hunt so hard for this, we're going to save this... For the end of the video and we're gonna start off also we got the elite trainer box i just smacked the mic so we're gonna take these put them to the side we're gonna start with these five pack blister packs uh i mean these two packs blister packs you know open them up pop them out so it is base set sword and shield very it was very interesting i don't think i've ever seen them do this before where they had uh the base set sort uh, of uh, of the set with the most current set. Yeah, it's very interesting that they did that. In my personal opinion. But I guess. Uh, I guess. It could be. Because instead of doing like. Um, a lot of the. Older stuff. With certain boxes. Like the true steel. <laughs> true steel boxes. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that. You guys might want to go. <laughs> check yesterday's video. Because. We pulled something insane from those boxes, uh, and it was from Darkness Ablaze, so if you guys haven't seen that, go check that out ASAP. Also, guys, uh, one of the newer subs um, made a comment about the video quality, or at least the, this one, and I do appreciate that. I do plan on getting a better camera for both here and there uh, as soon as I can, but i more focused on getting stuff to open for you guys first. So I'm very sorry that that's not fully updated yet. Uh, I will be getting it though. Uh, I if if the stimulus checks go through, or if I can sell some things, maybe I'll do it uh, sooner rather than later. Because honestly, I would rather do it sooner than later, especially if it would add that much better of enjoyment to the videos themselves. So, thank you for your input. Also, by the way, thank you to everybody who has come over to the channel. From Awesome CCG, uh, from Wednesday's live stream, you guys are amazing. Everybody else, uh, uh, give them a warm welcome. Uh, they're a lot of fun. They're van fantastic people. Uh, they're all from Awesome CCG's channel, and they enjoyed what I did over there during his live stream for Darkness and Blaze, and they decided to come over here and support this channel as well. I thank you all so very much. Uh, hopefully we can get something out of these blister packs because that would be quite nice. Honestly, I'd prefer something from the Darkness of Blaze rather than the Sword and Shield. But, ooh, hashtag Stunfisk Army. That is literally going to become a thing now because of what happened on Wednesday. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, you're going to know soon. Hashtag Stunfisk Army and a Hollow Rare Rhyperior. Or, as I like to do, the Imperial. I don't know why, but I've been becoming more and more interested in saying certain Pokemon names with an anime voice. Like, Grimus Narula. I don't know. It kind of happened after watching the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants anime, which you guys haven't seen that. That was fantastic. Let's see. Can we pull an Ultra Rare? By the way, if I'm not mistaken, this is the exact same card as the 
promo card from GameStop right now that you can get. Except for the promo card from GameStop doesn't have a promo stamp and is also not hollow. So, I don't know what the Pokemon company was thinking with that one. Uh, That's the first time, if I'm not mistaken, they've done something that like that in a long time. Most, most promo cards from stores have a stamp like GameStop or uh, summer 2020 or something like that but there's no stamp uh i don't even know if it has a black star on it which is interesting in itself guys so far we are striking out but that's okay this is the base at sword and shield it's okay to strike out i mean if you do get something preferably the gold card zamazenta or zassian Zass specifically because that is if i'm not mistaken the chase card from base at sword and shield now, if we're going to get any pulls in Darkness of Blaze, we want that big boy Zard. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, I do suggest it. It is absolutely insane. Oh, and we got a full art Delmize. Delmize V. Very cool. Uh, thank you, Sword and Shield uh, base set. Now on to what everybody's been waiting for in this video. If you guys are trying to get code cards, now's your chance. We're going to be opening up, what is it, 5, 11, uh, 19, 19 packs total of Darkness Ablaze. That's plenty of chances to get a code card if you guys haven't already. Uh, but then again, this is the first pack of Darkness Ablaze, so don't know why I'd mention if you haven't already, because you, you, have, you couldn't have yet. So let's hope we get some insanity in this video. Starting off with a Vicavolt. V. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Darkness of Blaze already treating us right. Uh, this this could be a very good start to Darkness of Blaze. By the way, guys, don't forget every Thursday, open up the newest, most recent set of Pokemon. And right now, that is Darkness of Blaze. Uh, when Champion's Path comes out, we will not be switching to that. We're just going to keep it going with Darkness Ablaze. Um, honestly, I think Champion's Path isn't going to be as good as previous holiday sets like Shining Legends, uh, Hidden Fates especially, and a Hollow. Hidden Fates, uh, Dragon Majesty. Like, There's so many previous holiday sets that have been really good that I just feel like from what they're showing right now, Champion's Path isn't going to be as good i feel like it's going to be a little bit lackluster um it, it the only real thing i see from that that's going to be super big to get is the elite trainer boxes because the promo charizard card also those sleeves i think are going to be pretty hype as well because they are charizard sleeves so you can't go wrong with that come on folk or just do what i have to do this is also another reason why I want to get a new camera anyways, at least for the cards. If my face cam isn't as good a quality, that's not a big deal. Seeing the cards better is what I really want to do. So hopefully I'll get a little bit of extra money soon and I can upgrade at least the card camera because that would be ideal. Also, uh, I'd like to get a couple like camera stands so I can actually use them for streaming gaming as well. First Hollow Dedene. And I'm pretty sure that Decidueye is actually a really good hollow pull to get. So. Garimus Naruda. If we don't get a stun fisk, I'm going to be super upset, guys. Like, let's be real here. You always want that James Fisk or that Gerard Fisk or whatever. Hashtag stun fisk army, right, guys? That's all we need to know. I don't even need the stun fisk to say it. If you guys don't understand the joke, you definitely want to go check out awesome ccg's uh massive stream from wednesday we did a 1000 pack opening for darkness ablaze and uh, a meme was created that day between me and some of the awesome ccg people now we're going to open up this uh, i will show off the stuff on the inside uh, as you guys may know some of you may not know especially the people who just joined the community from awesome ccg I try to collect like one of each thing from an ETB. So the dice, the uh, sleeves, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, I mean, you guys have seen this before. And you guys have already seen all the polls anyways. But we're going to 
show you anyways. So you have Rillaboom Shiny, Colossal Shiny. You, we've pulled a bunch of these end, end cards already, so. And uh, where's that Charizard? Wait, is the Charizard not show here? They don't show it in the book? Ooh. I think they just show the cards up to the end. They don't actually show the extra cards. I do like the color pattern on these Darkness Ablaze ETBs. Oh, is, there's a little book. The rules. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't remember those being in there. So that and these beautiful Eternatus sleeves. They are really nice. Not gonna lie. Then you have eight packs. So can't forget the code card for the Eternatus ETB. There you go. Beautiful dividers, which I'll probably put to the side for a little bit because I have some extra ones. You know the energies, whatever. Uh, poison damage counter. And the dice, which I do want to take a look at. Because they are going to be going in my container of dice. Ooh, I like the color pattern on these. Very nice. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's get into the packs, because that's what everyone's really here for. Anyways, the code cards and the pulls. Uh, I get mixed pull rates with the ETBs, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree. Uh, nothing is ever set in stone when it comes to Pokemon cards. Nothing has better pull rates usually, unless you count Hidden Fates' pin, uh, first rotation of pin boxes. The first rotation of pin... What in the world? That is like a weird water monkey. If you guys remember the first round of pin collection boxes from Hidden Fates, the pull rates were insane. But the second wave of them were not nearly as good. It was a, it was almost two hits per box, uh, and that's almost that's not that's not including the possibilities of shinies. So it was pretty crazy. But other than that, the pull ratios are usually random. I personally don't like getting booster boxes, personally. But that's because I like the unknown ratios. Granted, with a booster box, it's not guaranteed. You can get as low as 4 to 6 on the low end. And uh, on, the, on the high end, it's usually 9 to 11. But last Saturday, not the Saturday just passed... But last Saturday, go to go to Awesome CCG's channel for last Saturday, and we opened a box that had 15 hits. 15 hits, guys. Not not was it just not it wasn't just 15 hits. There was three rainbow rares, and oh, uh, I think like four or more ultra uh, full arts, and then the rest are ultra rares. But it was. It was insanity, guys. Like, it, I guess it's possible. But other than that one time, I've never seen a box with 15 hits in it. So. Let's see. Can we get at least... I usually get at least, at least one pull from an Elite Trainer box. I know it's possible to get nothing, which would be the most depressing thing in the world because you just spent X amount of dollars... On it, which they're usually thirty nine ninety nine for these ones. Holiday sets are usually fifty dollars. Uh, really, just a hollow. Man, guys, this video is not as good as yesterday's video. I'm, I'm being real with you right now. Uh, <laughs> you guys need to see yesterday's videos. It is a true steel box opening. We open up one of each of the true steel boxes, and. We got a nice surprise from one of the Darkness Ablaze packs. You guys definitely should check it out if you haven't already. Also, right now, uh, if you haven't already, in the comments below, hashtag Stonefisk Army. <laughs> it's, it's such an unneeded plug, but it's also needed at the same time. For those of you from the awesome CCG page, you guys know what I'm talking about. Man, this box, this ETB box is so good. I do not regret buying this ETB box at all. I mean, I really don't because I get to make a, a video with you guys. And all of you get to watch my pain in my eyes as 
each pack does not have an ultra rare in it. <sighs> we had two packs left from the. It does the turn. Oh, he tri I gotta do Eternatus last. It's it's the Eternatus box, you know. So we gotta save Eternatus from. What if what if I did that in in Charizard is the one with that actually has the pull in it. Oh, I almost want more than four to be honest. Psychic energy. Uh, two headed dragon, a fire monkey. Oh, it's blurry. I'm sorry, guys. Also, I want. I, I think I can set this to autofocus, but I just like it so it doesn't autofocus. Reverse Hollow, old PC, and an Eternatus V! Ultra rare. Very nice. One of the more valuable cards, if I'm not mistaken, from the set. Alright, Eternatus, you gotta top yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to do better than yourself, and you're not going to. Wow. I literally called it. <laughs> the Charizard's the one that had the paw. I should have. Should have saved the Charizard like I wanted to. Steel Energy or Metal Energy. Rallicanth. Ursaring. Rowlet. Wishawashi. Got an Elephant. Got a Teacup. Such an interesting artwork. You would think that would be a Magic Carp artwork. Reverse Hollow Centret and a Mimikyu. I'm going to take this stack of bulk stuff. Put it to the side. I'm going to throw my phone real quick. Literally toss it. It's unneeded. Alright guys. We got one pull from the Eternatus box. Now we're going to open up both of these blister packs. Like I said, I'm saving this blister pack. Blister pack for last. I just hit all the cards with that, box, with that pack. Alright. Why is this not opening properly for me. Not gonna lie, guys. I've had really good pull rates with blister packs. So far. So far. Uh, all my Thursday videos right now are done with blister packs. So, when you see the what I've pulled, you'll be like, oh, wow. Yeah, he really has. But, I haven't opened these on camera yet, so I'm gonna actually show you is that the Fion or Manaphy? I can never tell. They look very similar. Uh, coin. Then you have the Flareon. Black Star. Hollow. And like I said, I found these everywhere. But I could not find the Eevee one. I went to seven different stores for that Eevee one. Here is the code card for that pin, co that pin box. Blister pack, I should say. It's not a box. We're going to dive straight in. We're going to open up the last three, the other blister pack shortly after. Have a water energy. Need to get a little focus. Thank you. I find it interesting how it focuses after it goes to the back, which has so much going on on that backboard. Bunnelby, Reverse Hollow Clank. The Talon Flame. Guys, this video is so heartbreaking right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I really was hoping for better pulls. Especially after every, after what happened yesterday. And all my... In the in the Thursday... The weekly Thursday videos. Like, I don't understand. Where... Where'd all the pulls go? Did I... Did I use up all my luck in yesterday's video? I might have. Again, you guys need to see yesterday's video. If you guys have made it this far in this video and you're disappointed, you, you're I feel you. And if you're disappointed, go check yesterday's video. You will not be disappointed. It was a good one. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a green and white code card. Let's go. Green energy. Focus. There we go. We have a bird keeper. Soul Rock, Rallicanth, a baby mimic, mimic, mime, female mime, reverse hollow, Marini, and a slow bro V, Galarian slow bro V. There we go, guys. Also, if you watch uh, the video from the live stream on Wednesday, I do a comical Leonhart <laughs> imitation. 
I found it also weird because where I bought this from, all these packs on all the blister packs were, were similar to this, but this one was the worst. And I found it interesting because it was the Eevee one. All right, last, oh God, last three packs of the video, guys. If you guys haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button. That's the same goddamn thing. I'm sorry. Hit that like button. Here's the EV Black Star promo. Interesting. Also, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We jumped quite a bit of subscribers after I did the live stream on Awesome CCG. So let's keep going, guys. Let's try and hit that 250 subscriber goal so I can give away those graded cards. Uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. Also, this upcoming week, uh, this week we're going into, there will be three special videos. Um, odds are they're going to be the same day as the two-pack videos just to make scheduling them a bit easier. And they're going to be some big openings for each TCG type, Dragon Ball Super. Po Actually, I might line them up with the two-pack challenge, uh, two challenge videos. Uh, in the same days, so that way they are the same exact card types, and also the bigger videos will happen as well. <sighs> All right, guys, we have two packs left. We are in the 20 minute marker, but we have opened up a lot of packs. We got some good stuff in here today. Uh, nothing, nothing too, too big except for that Eternatus V card. Uh, but there's always there's always the next video. The next video will have something better. I promise you guys. We got ooh turbo patch. Very good. Uh, people uh, think it's very playable. People are going after the secret rare of it. I'm pretty sure I have a play set in their decks. Reverse hollow elephant and a Galarian surfetched. All right, guys. Last pack of the video before I get into this. Thank you guys so much for watching it so far. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more epic Pokemon content. Let's get into it, guys. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Hit that subscribe button, guys. That like button. Leave a comment below. It can be hashtag Stunfisk Army, or it can be you suck. It's really up to you guys. Or you can give me some helpful criticism. Uh, like like that, like the gentleman from my other video said, uh, made a comment about the quality of the camera. Do appreciate that. I, like I said, I will take it into consideration. And for the last pack, what are we gonna pull? <sighs> Why is this a hollow? Oh damn! That's not a bad card. Double draw? Draw two cards? I feel like this is going to be an underrated card. Cuz look at it. It's 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 draw two cards. I feel like this is going to be a super playable card without anyone realizing it because of its ability to draw. That's, that, I feel like, I'm not giving this thing as much credit as I should. That, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's it, guys. We are done, right? I have no more burnt darkness of blaze. All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video.